Hi loves, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be removing the skin on my Nintendo Switch and replacing it with a brand new one. Let's get right into it. The skin that I'll be removing today is this pink skin from decalgirl.com. The skin only covers the front of the device. It doesn't wrap around the edges and it doesn't come with a back piece, but it's cute and I've never had issues with it. I'm going to start by removing the Joy-Cons because I'm thinking that it might be easier to remove the skin if I work on one piece at a time. I'm going to use my heat gun on this first Joy-Con before attempting to remove the skin. My logic is that if the skin is warm, it will be easier to peel. So I'm just going to go over it lightly with the heat gun and then I'll take a pair of tweezers and start peeling from the top edge. These pink tweezers don't seem to be working very well so I switched to the purple pair which turned out to work a lot better. The skin was actually pretty easy to peel off and I'm very happy to find that it hasn't ruined my Joy-Cons. I do see a tiny bit of residue but I'll show you how to remove that. On the second Joy-Con, I'm not going to use the heat gun. I want to test for you guys whether or not it would actually make a difference. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I did struggle a bit more with this one. I also think I see more residue this time. So using a bit of heat first might actually be worth it. Now I'm going to remove the front piece. This one is hard to get started. I'm wondering if the fact that I have a screen protector underneath is making a difference. Once I do get it started though, it's pretty easy to peel off. Honestly, at this point, I'm pretty happy with how easy it was to remove the skin and the fact that it did not damage my switch like I thought that it might. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to clean the surface of the switch and remove any leftover residue. I'm using these alcohol pads and gently wiping over the surface of the Joy-Con, making sure to pay special attention to the areas with residue. I'm going to do this to both Joy-Cons and to the front and back of the console. Now that everything is clean, I can apply the new skin. I'm using this skin from StickyBunnyCo.com in the color Baby Pink. I'm starting with the front piece for the console. It's one big piece, but it's thin, so peel gently. There's a little piece of sticker stuck on the skin, so I have to take my tweezers and remove that before it causes any problems. I start by lining the skin up with the holes towards the bottom. Then I gently press on the skin with my fingertips while trying to make sure that the top and the sides are all lined up. Unfortunately, I realized that I failed and that I placed the skin too far to the left. There's a thin line of black showing on the right and if I flip it over, you can see a strip of skin hanging off on the left side. Not a big deal though, I should be able to lift the skin and try again. I'm starting by lining up the bottom again, but this time I'm making sure to keep the sides lined up as well. I'm using my fingertips and gently smoothing out any air bubbles. The sides are lined up pretty well this time, so I'm happy about that. Now I can work on the bottom edge. I'm taking a heat gun and quickly running it over the free edge of the skin. This should make it wrap around the edge more smoothly. I'm also using a silicone tool to help smooth out the edges and find details. Then I flip the console and repeat the process on the free edge. This time I'm using my tweezers and tugging a bit because I don't feel like the skin is actually lining up with the holes at the top of the console. After messing with the skin a bit, I realized that I failed again and decided that it's probably better to peel the skin up and try to realign it. This time I'm pulling a little in hopes of stretching the skin so that it lines up better at the top. Unfortunately, the pulling resulted in tearing the skin a little bit on the inner corner, 
The top section did end up lining up a lot better though, which I was happy about. However, after smoothing everything out, I realized that the skin no longer lined up at the top of the screen. For the millionth time, I peeled up the skin and readjusted it with tweezers. At this point, I'm honestly pretty frustrated with my failed attempt and I'm ready to give up and settle for what I've done so far. I have to say this is already so much harder than putting the skin on a switch light. I'm going to move on and try to do the joint cons. It comes in one long piece like this. I'm guessing that it wraps from the front to the back, but that seems really difficult to do so I'm going to cut it in half and work on one part at a time. I'm using simple cuticle cutters that I use solely for crafting. I'm starting with the back piece and I'm using a heat gun to warm it up a little bit first. I'm trying to align the holes in the skin with the screw holes on the back of the controller. The corner part where I cut the skin doesn't seem to be lining up well, so I'm using tweezers to try and pull it into place. The rest of the skin is lined up, but I'm having trouble with the small piece here. I'm using my heat gun and silicone tool to try and smooth it into place, but I'm not having any luck with that either. I'm starting to believe that cutting the skin was probably a fail. I probably should have left it as one piece. Now I'm heating up the edges of the skin that wrap around the controller and I'm smoothing the edges down with my fingertips and my silicone tool. I'm noticing that the skin seems a lot more rigid than the, than the skin that I used on the Switch Lite. I'm having to heat it up and rub it a lot more to get a smooth surface and even then it doesn't look as smooth as it did on the Switch Lite. Okay, that's probably as smooth as, it's, as smooth as it's going to get. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the front piece. I'm going to try and line it up with the top part where I probably shouldn't have cut it to begin with. Now that it's lined up, I'm going to heat it up a bit and then use my silicone tool to smooth it down, paying special attention to the areas around the buttons. I'm going to heat and smooth the edges like I did on the back. As you can see, the edges aren't smoothing out very well. I keep heating and rubbing but the edges never look as smooth as they do on the switch light. Next is the piece that goes between the two pieces that we just did. Unfortunately, this piece doesn't fit very well either. I would love if there was no gap at all, but since it won't fit that way, I'm going to line the skin up so that it's flush with the front of the controller and I'll leave the gap towards the bottom or back. I'm using my heat gun and silicone tool to smooth out any air bubbles and then you'll see me use my cuticle cutters to cut off the extra skin.
All right, I think we're done with this controller. I'm going to go ahead and do the second controller off screen. This is how they look side by side, not too bad. But they're both missing a tiny piece that goes between the bumper and the trigger, so I'll add that now. I'm heating it up before placing it only because it's going on a rounded corner and I wanna make sure it wraps around smoothly. I'll be doing this on both controllers. Now that those are done, I'm going to work on the back of the console. I know I probably should have done that part first, but I was kind of distracted, so I guess we're doing it now. To be honest, the whole thing is probably an epic fail because I've made so many mistakes by now. I'm working on the kickstand first because I feel like it should not it should be the easiest for some reason. I'm also um, opening it first because I'm thinking that it'll be easier to get the skin on perfectly straight that way. I've been touching the surface a lot, so before I place the back piece, I'm going to use alcohol wipes and wipe it clean. I'm going to start by lining up the holes in the skin with the holes towards the bottom of the console, then lightly press the skin into place with my fingertips. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Now I can smooth out the edges with the heat gun and silicone tool. At this point, I'm grabbing anything flat and hard like a business card and using that to get any air bubbles out. I realized that there are some pretty big bubbles, so I pull the skin back and heat it up a bit before using the flat object to smooth the skin back into place. After getting it flat and smooth, I realized that I must have shrunken the skin or something because it's lined up towards the bottom of the console but towards the top it shrinks in and you can see black on the sides. I should probably just settle for how it looks now but I'm easily annoyed by little things like that so I feel like I have to peel it up and try again. Okay, at this point I feel like I spent a ton of extra time just to make it look worse and embarrass myself. So yeah, I think I'm done with this for today. I might fix it later, but right now I just don't have any more patience. I quickly wanted to say thank you to everyone that has been watching our videos and supporting our channel. With that being said, please subscribe and comment below if you have any suggestions for future videos.